The gradual breakdown in financial accountability and transparency at the National Institute of Culture and History, under the leadership of Sapna Bodrani, is documented in a series of messages that have since been disclosed in the media. Memos shared between internal auditor Roberta Matos and financial officer Edwin Alvarado focus on irregularities in finances, vehicle usage, and fuel consumption. In respect of the latter, News 5 understands that petrol for a white Toyota Hilux, a 2017 model with license plate number E00215, is being paid for by Niche, despite the pickup truck not being part of its fleet. According to the leaked documents, the statutory body received the first of two Toyota Hilux from Belize Diesel and Equipment Limited. One of the vehicles was assigned to Deputy Prime Minister Patrick Faber until the fiscal year 2017-2018 commenced. That vehicle, based on an audit conducted by Matos, is being used by Tyrone Tillett, who is not an employee of Niche. In fact, Tillett has been identified as the minister's driver. Important to note is that DPM Faber has since been assigned a Chevy Suburban. In another section of the memo, the issue of missing monies once again arises, particularly where it concerns the proceeds of a concert in April by the National Youth Orchestra. There are also stolen musical instruments that were gifted to the National Youth Orchestra by the Korean Embassy. Those items, a bass pan as well as a pair of cymbals, were stolen from the Bliss but were never reported as donations to the Finance Department. A damaged invoice book as well as a stolen receipt book and missing petty cash are also flagged. Likewise, a stolen water pump which was taken from the Government House of Culture reportedly while a member of NIT's security staff was on duty at that location on the day of the incident. According to the document from Matos, audit reports reflecting these concerns were forwarded to Bodrani, but as of August 11th, no action has been taken on the part of the NIT's president. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.